Welcome back to Syndication. This is that. Today I'm going to be talking about Tesla. I had a lot of requests for it, so I'm going to go through a little bit of technical analysis news and how I think it's personally playing and uh, what my personal recommendation for myself is. Now, at any point, if you feel you're missing on the technical indicators, you'll find a playlist in the description below that explains each of these technical indicators and what they mean. Make sure to drop a like to this video to help the channel grow, subscribe, and leave your notifications on. Let's jump right into it. So, Tesla. After a recent split, what, it ha what happened here was it did go down to 400, rallied up around 20%, um, almost up to 25% as well, and then continued to dip afterwards. On a red day though, it did see a little bit of stabilization, and that is amazing. Now let me explain exactly what happened here. So we kind of covered in that trend, and with the red days that it has followed, it seems that it's um, testing in a negative reversal. Although I'm not concerned about this, and I'll explain why throughout the video. You get to see on the willing percent R, it's actually sitting in right now in neutral. When it comes to the willing percent R, yeah, so that's a neutral. If average directional index is still indicating a strong trend, but it's not broken yet. So that is a good sign. Volume here has been stable and the unbalanced volume looks great. Now, the really nice thing about this one, and this is what I really like, is the moving averages on this one, and I'm zooming in here. NSMA is above 30 MA, bullish. Stock price is above the 50 SMA, bullish. The stock price is above the 200 SMA, bullish. And the best thing about it, it's in the trading action zone. So here, reversals are really likely. So we're really likely to see a positive reversal and it looks beautiful in my view. Moving on towards the one hour perspective, we get to see a little bit off the same story. Now the MACD is gonna be te testing in a negative uh, reversal sometime on Monday probably, but I really doubt to see that. Now when it comes in towards uh, the moving averages there is a slight a little bit of a warning sign you get to see a death cross has uh, passed in around 4 or 5 p.m on friday and that's when the 50 sma dips below the 200 sma but that is kind of expected a little bit with the fear that it happened around the market a little bit late last weekend but to remember this is a long weekend so a lot of people don't want to worry about their stocks while going on uh, to the beach or whatever on the long weekend so we got to give it a little bit of a benefit of the doubt at least in my opinion ADX here shows in a strong indication for a strong trend. William percent R sits at oversold during uh, the extended market, and momentum seems to be still be amazing. When it comes into moving averages, it does look somewhat bearish on the one hour perspective, but the one day perspective looks a lot better. So we're concerned about, let's say, a one day hold period. The one day looks a lot better. Now the moving average band here in blue, it's expected to trade between 348 to 28 and 390 if it does go to the bottom of the band but I don't expect it to be that way the expectation is that it might trade between 390 and 431 but it's as you can see it has been trading on the top part for quite a bit even above that so uh, our expectation is it does see quite of a bounce back at least to the 430 mark now moving on towards the charts I do see uh, a channel here that looks quite amazing it does uh, see a bit of dips in here and there so the expectation is that in order for it to reach on back to the top of the channel because it's still considered on the top channel uh the top channel right now is around 510 to 73. that is a positive sign now significant trends and supports i'm not going to do the fibonacci retracements because there is quite a bit of them going all the way back to the marsh dip but we're looking at a current support of uh 411 and then below that 406 below that 404 65 and then below that 395 uh, three and then below that 380.55 375.88 and then 371.56 and then below that 361 resistances and that's the ones we're interested about 425.14 439 or uh, 435.93 457.8 459.66 and 462.36. Now, the, the most significant resistance right now is the 500 mark because that's where we expect to, sit, to see it still. I'm gonna explain a little bit on my expectation for this stock right after we hit a bit of news. Now, not the typical company that would go through breakthrough and kind of explain a little bit of every product because I'm pretty sure you already know the products. You got semis, the cyber trucks, uh, the different models, three uh, S, P, X, Y, or, well, sorry, that's a three, but yeah, you get the point. Uh, so I'm going to go a little bit towards investor relations. Now, they do have a presentation coming up on September 22nd. Amazing. It's the annual shareholder meeting. And there's going to be a vote. Uh, so there is 
five, uh, seven different proposals. Nothing significant there. Uh, class one directors to serve on a year term, uh, accounting firm independently. So just a just a normal kind of uh, votes that happens. So nothing significant, no red flags. Of course, the one thing that really freaked out a lot of people, um, and I'm going on here, you get to see it is the offering. So yeah, the offering did freak out a lot of people. My bad on that. Um, and the offering share price is 498. So I'm going to zoom out here. There we go. 498.32. Um, the price is below there. So we're still below that offering price and we do expect that it adjusts, right? So why would, uh, you, why would they sell around almost a billion dollars, a billion shares, uh, um, my bad, a million shares, uh, almost around $500 is because there is institutional value to work there. So that is definitely interesting. So moving on as well, the one last thing that I want to cover is the institutional sh shares. Uh, this website is, by the way, fintl.io. A lot of people have asked me about it. Um, and you get to see a bit of different institutional buyers here and there. Uh, last one was on the 26th, uh, around 371,000 shares. But there's a lot of different investments already on this one here. So you don't won't see a lot of moving uh, back and forth on it. Uh, sorry, the last one is the Great Capital Incorporation, around 2,000 shares in there. So quite exciting. How do I expect it to trade and what is my recommendation? That is a good question. So now in order to answer this, what we're going to do quickly is going to go to Apple. So Apple last split was on June 9th, 2014, right? And on June 9th, it did rally up a little and then continue to drop for one, two, three days and then saw a little bit of bounce and then continued to drop and then saw a massive rally. So what is the expectation is that this one here will still continue to rally given that the market doesn't crash. I don't expect the market to crash sometime in the next week, but you know, if it does, then everyone loses, right? Uh, we don't want that. But how do I expect it to trade? I expect it to see a little bit of a sideways movement, not a massive rally, or maybe it could be a massive rally. I mean, this stock, if we're looking at the financials, which I didn't cover here, uh, this is more of a stock that is trading on a massive rally. It's a massive hype kind of rally, which is amazing for us because, hey, we can scalp it. We can get profit out of it. It's amazing. We're not complaining. But I do expect that it might trade a little bit sideways, something similar to here, and then see a massive rally. That is my expectation. So what is my current uh, current recommendation for this one? Or what am I doing? Uh, it's definitely considered a buy for me. Going anything around the $400 to around the $375. $375, it's a buy. Uh, above $450, I would say it's a hold for me. Uh, above Around lower four, 400s to the higher 300s, still a buy. Uh, it's going to be a midterm term though. So that's exciting for me. What do you think about this sticker? Make sure you mention down in the comments below. Share, subscribe, and like, and you have a wonderful day.